thought we would do a quick little weekend trip before the Auckland floodgates open. So we're heading to Gisborne. And first stop, Guess. And Guess is extremely expensive. It costs 109 bucks to fill up our tank for our little car. So we're not even there yet. And I decided to get um, road trip snacks and I bought this cookie time cookie which is New Zealand's famous cookie. Like they even have this on the plane as a snack. But it's good but I, I think I can make better. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think Brian? I think you bought a bunch of silly snacks. You got like a, the, the back seat has a bunch of random little road trip snacks and this is only a two hour drive. I know, that's so. alright. <laughs> birthday in 30. Here's a quick Airbnb tour. And that's the bathroom. So it's deep fried fish with sweet chili sauce. And then there's what deep fried fish. I'm not sure what else all is in there. There's a few a few peppers. I can see. And there's a little bit of veggies on there. And I got crispy pork with um, vegetables. So we're walking. 
walking around town and we stumbled across this little church. We were about to get pizza, but we realized that the pizza place doesn't have any they don't have eating. any seats. So we kept walking and we ended up getting pie. Nothing too special about that place at all. Is there? Well, it was good, but no. It was pretty standard pie. It was good food, but... Anyway, this seems like the sketchy part of town. Barely. Not really, but like... It's not the nice... Not the nice downtown-ish place. It's like one street off. It's in Gisborne Branch. Hmm? The ACC Gisborne Branch. Okay, so we are going on a little walk around Gisborne. And over there is... where is it? That thingy. Um, is the tail end of the museum here. And they have a little exhibit about the... What was, what was the name of the ship? Canada. So it's a ship that sunk here at some point in the past. And they've got like the tail end of it that they've recreated. Look at that hammock. Uh, yeah, a little hammock this there. This almost feels slightly like the Lake of the Ozarks. Like a little bit. The thing people put out at the dock and everything. True. Hi, Natalie. This zoomed way in on you. No. <laughs> I think the river's quite low right now. <laughs> it does seem kind of swampy. Mm -hmm. Kind of swampy. It doesn't smell swampy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the red New Zealand Christmas tree. That's a nice big tree. The largest one is in Teararoa. Yep. And it was way bigger than this. Check out that little gazebo. Yep. I see the gazebo. Look, they have little canoes over there. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if I want a canoe around here. I don't know. It's just too swampy. It's a little swampy at the moment. I'm not sure if they're reconstructing stuff here right now or what they're doing, but... Brian thinks that's Captain Cook. Well, it, it's a guess, but I have no idea. That little house looks so cute. It looks like a little cottage with the shutters and the plants. Bridge here. Well, it looks like a homeless hideout, but it has a little reflexology path. It would be really painful to sleep on. So we are at the Turanganui River, which is the shortest river in New Zealand, at 1,200 meters. Brian was right. So I don't think it's Captain Cook anymore. So I'm pretty sure this is a war memorial. Okay, so you were wrong. <laughs> houses and like saying how cute each of them are. That one has like a little front porch and all of them are just really cute. They all have privacy fences too so you can't see but this one has a bay window. That one looks like an 1880s villa. Another cool looking house right here. 